Hello everybody, and we are back with another episode of Alan Wake. Uh, I'm sorry about the last episode, there was some slight echoing going on with the actual speakers picking up from the game onto my microphone, so hopefully we fix that now. This is... Sorry, this is a kind of a learning process for everyone here, including myself. Sorry about that. But, uh, to recap, wife's gone missing, it's dark, we have no weapons or flashlights or anything. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. We are so screwed. Because it was jumping's an option. saw the moon a second ago. That is nice. The clouds actually do move. That is nice. That is a nice touch to the game. It adds a little bit of extra realism to it. That is nice. I'm gonna say that is nice. Hello? That doesn't sound good. Oh, it's him again. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Okay, let's take a read at them, shall we? Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Okay, now this is the part where I now tell you. Um, one of the things in Alan Wake is that you can occasionally find these manuscript pages throughout the game. And they can then foreshadow for you events that are about to transpire in the game. So, yeah, we're in the woods. Alone. I don't know what's scarier, the fact that you'll... The fact that if we didn't know he was going to leap out, or the fact that we do know he's going to leap out somewhere. I don't know what's scarier. I wonder, can we go off the track? Can we off the path? Vaguely. I can't leap over trees though. So it's a definitely a kind of a linear game at this stage. But I think later on it gets a little less linear. If you know what I mean. Because we get the whole exploration. But it definitely seems like Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! Okay, my heart just went a little bit there for a moment there. I thought that might have been the axe dude. Music's not helping either. You can definitely t hear the music going on in the background here. It's definitely helping set the mood in the scene and all that. And I'm rambling. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Huh. Lumber yard. Forest. Manuscript page. Can anyone else get the funny feeling we're going to see an X-Men round the corner? somewhere. Ooh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Anyone else thinking bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
What was that? Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. I'm about to have an accident. Oh, oh, oh boy. Five minutes in, and I'm already I'm freaked. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need two premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. Um, and oh, stop a bit, cup of coffee. Run! Shit. Wrong way. Okay. The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Find this page in nightmare difficulty mode. Oh, no thanks, I'm still on easy. Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Let's see, we got a gun and a flashlight. During your trying, it's the latest thing in. Testably proven health benefits let you kill one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. Same time. Yes. Right fall sheriff station. Oh man. Have... Hello? Hello? Oh, that doesn't help. Anyone else see that one coming the moment I press the pickup button? It's Despair. That is not good. Hell, was I gonna stay in a house? That is. Oh. Okay, that's not good. Well, that's definitely not good. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Oh boy. This is definitely creepy. So that. There were more. My head pounded with a concussion. 
I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone, or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Okay. Hello? You're seeing the arrows on the boulders as well, right? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. There we go. This could come in handy. Okay, note to self. Keep an eye out for eerie graffiti shown only by your flashlight. I'm not the only one here in the heavy breathing, am I? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. All right, that was to turn off the thing. It's rabbits. <laughs> As you can easily tell, I am freaked out by this. Revolver ammo. Always good. More ammo, more chance of surviving this. Ooh, okay. What do we have here? More manuscript pages. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Okay. And it's very dark over here. Wow. Okay. Now then, let's see. We have another bulldozer. Or machine, anyway. Wow. Okay, so. Not going that way. The game's quite linear in that respect. But I suppose it is a horror game. Whoa, ouch. And horror games do tend to be a little. There's obviously that bird isn't doing the same thing as other birds do. Holy! That what does the not hell was that? That sounded hungry. Okay. Um. How much further do I have to go? I want to get back to light. I want to go back to. I want to get to the gas station. Quick. This is this game of room. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. It's all the way over there. There's bright light over there. I guess that's where the next checkpoint thing is with 
the mystery man in the light. Sparkly over there. Oh, the thermos. I wonder if these thermos things is even actually doing this. I'll probably take a look at it later. Right now, though, I'm just getting scared out my head. I'm very sure we're not to go into the water. Just getting a slight funny feeling. Hmm. Further. If this was really happening to me, I'd be freaking out like... Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. <laughs> That's helpful. Hello. A box. There's a box of stuff over here. Oh, manuscript page. What does this one say? Barry's Barry arrival. Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Okay, so we're going to be seeing Barry later on. That's either good news or bad news. I'll let you figure that one out. And I think we'll call it an episode for that. Leave you all with the creepy bridge before we cross. See you all next time.